I want to make this video for a, a new friend of mine I met on YouTube that is a woodworker in which I'm not and I was looking up anyone that had worked with this type of wood this is called Paduk it is an African South African wood not South Africa the state but South Africa the continent these boards right here there are four all together as you can see there's a couple underneath here right here damn and it's heavy it's really heavy they're one inch thick right here they are 17 and a half inches across and these were four pieces they were two pieces when I got them or about 14 feet long now these four pieces right here you can count them one two three and four constitute about 36 board feet and you can see right here by the rings in the tree that the tree was a lot bigger around than the boards now I noticed that my friend that bought two square two board feet of this Paduk I don't know what the thickness was but I think he paid like $35 and I had a problem where when I bought this wood I ordered 30 feet they sent me 36 feet so I figured well great you know if they sent me too much 20% extra I'm, I'm gonna keep it no it's not the case I had to pay for it but this is part of my woodworking project I thought it was a really nice color what's interesting about this is let me show you what it looks like cleared is this was a piece right here which is about six and a half inches wide it's about um, 18 inches long kind of reminds me of my uh, well you guys know what I'm talking about anyway um, it had a it had a little um, cut on it right here so I figured I'd use it for a sample now when I cleared this and we use uh, all kinds of clear at our shop we have a stain shop and we do millions of dollars a year in doing staining cabinets doors any, everything anything and everything well I put nothing but pure clear on this and I thought it would show up a brighter orange this is what it looks like okay now, does that look orange to you there is no dye there is no um, no tint no nothing this is the true color of Paduk with just clear on it now this is not a regular um, lacquer finish clear this is conversion varnish which is basically a clear they use on cabinets with a it has a hardener in it so they use a hardener on your cabinets because you're always using them and it's impervious to a lot of damage because it's got that I'm going to sand this what are you looking at cat and let me see if I can put this out in the Sun because it's it's got these beautiful red and gold tones It's about seven o'clock at night here and I want to see if I can um, I want to see if I can show you the uh, red and the gold and you can see the um, the uh, conversion varnish but this is just a base varnish as far as it will be polished look at that I mean it's got it's got it's got gold and orange and red and brown and I'm gonna make jewelry boxes out of it I'm just gonna do it for uh, my own hobby and I'm not going to do it for any business but I've all uh, I've already got 10,000 women that want to be my best friend if I'll make them one I mean people I work with and 
they, you know, women like this kind of thing. But isn't that neat? I mean, well, I need to get it a better look in the sun. See if we can, because the sun is, it is getting later in the season, and I'm trying to let you see what I see. Anyway, once this is uh, sanded with um, 2,000, 2,500 grit and polished, it should look really bitching. So you can see right there, now this is the last part of the wood that I'm going to buy. I have bought, <clears throat> I've never seen this wood before I bought it. I bought like 15 feet of purple heart, which is violet purple. Bought about 15 feet of blood wood, which is, uh, uh, it looks like blood. It's not as orange. I bought, um, some, this is my Paduk. So that is, uh, this is from my friend who is a woodworker that, that works around this. That's what it looks like. Okay, I'm gonna post this.